For our next great adventure in the world of blending modes, let's go ahead and go into our exercise files and open up one called Normal. I don't have a normal in my world, but Photoshop does. I guess that's good. We are going to examine the different blending modes based on the groups that they are in. For example, if we come up here and click that button, you have this little line that separates some of the groups. You have some blending modes defined as darken and lighten. And these are the normal. There's only two of them, normal and dissolve. But they're very distinctive and very easy to kind of understand. Let's start with normal. This is what normal looks like. Even your paintbrushes, and we'll get into that later in this chapter, have blending modes. So if I'm working with a paintbrush with a color, and I'm painting with that paintbrush in the normal blend mode, I would anticipate that the brush would act just the way I would expect it to act in the real world. Just as if I'm working maybe on an oil painting. We get out of the real world when we start working with these blending modes. So on this one, I've got the word Monk's Pond, and I have an outer glow around it right here. If we choose this one down here, which is the second one, this is the second Monk's Pond, and that's text that's in a separate layer, don't forget that. And we go to the word Dissolve. Now what Dissolve does is it edits or paints each one of the pixels to make it the result color. But the result color is actually a random replacement of the pixels with the base color or the blend color, depending on the opacity. So this particular blending mode requires a certain form of change or shift in opacity. And that's exactly what an outer glow would do. And if I click Dissolve, watch Monk's Pond down at the bottom. And you'll notice it begins breaking up. And I can make that a little bit bigger and show that to you. And say, okay, what's so great about that? Well, let me give you a different example. Let me take this out of here. I'll click here to kind of clean the screen up for us. Just a white background. Here's Monk's Pond again, a little bit bigger. And here is a vignette. So in this vignette, what I have done is I've created a solid area of black. I've cut an oval out of it. And I used a Gaussian blur to soften the edges. Remember, dissolve needs levels of opacity to work. So if I turn that back on again, soft vignette, nothing wrong with it. But if I change the vignette layer, remember that's the layer we have to use. If I change that to dissolve, watch what happens. No, that's kind of neat. It breaks apart the Gaussian blur. It breaks apart areas that don't have opacity at 100%. It's kind of a neat feature, though, and it can be used for things just like this. So normal and dissolve our first two blending modes. On to the next.